Okay, you guys. Whew. Okay, finally I got you here. Well, now we're gonna do the jalapeno poppers. Okay, the jalapeno poppers, y'all, they're, they're, they're not even jalapeno popper, poppers. They're bacon wrapped jalapenos. Everybody does them different. I do them the way my cousin taught me. Shout out to Christina, my cousin. She done them. She taught me how to do them from New Mexico. She brought them all the way to Cali from New Mexico. All basically it is, is just what I use, the type of cheese I use, because I've seen some other girl do this. I, like she got some big old, they're like, they were bigger yellow ones. She stuffed like regular cheese in it. She got like this whole thing stuffed, took out the, took it out from here, stuffed it in there and then wrapped it. I think she wrapped it, I'm not sure. I don't think she wrapped it, but it was like that. I didn't like them. First of all, like that, I don't know. I just didn't like them because the cheese that she used, it was, it, it, it no. But anyways, so this is the cheese I use. I use Philadelphian cheese. It's, this is the one I use. I get one that's already whipped. You know how like there's one that's in a square? I mean a rectangular shape and then there's these ones. Well, I like to just get the whipped one so I don't have to deal with all the whipping, you know, messing around. It is messy. So basically what I like to do, y'all, I do not get the whole thing. I like to cut them up. I cut them in half. I already got all mine cut up. I make a lot for me. It's just for me, but I make a lot. These are my one of my favorite like um, side dishes. So I usually just cut them in half and I'll fill it in and wrap it up, right? So basically, you gotta just do this. You just cut it in half. I'll show y'all with one. You cut it in half and it comes out like this. You're gonna take this out. You're gonna scrape it out, okay? You're gonna get a spoon and just scrape it out. See, the whole thing just comes out like that. Like this, see? You're gonna take that out so it doesn't have so much picoso in it. And not only that, that's what you're gonna use. It's like a little shell, you know? It's like a little shell where you're able to to put your um, your Philadelphian cheese in it and then you're able to wrap it. So it's gonna look like this, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna just take the seeds out so you have it. You're gonna take the seeds out so you have a shell. And, one, and once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and get it, get your Philadelphian cheese, and put it in there. You don't wanna overstuff it, y'all, okay? So you just put it in there like it, like right there, like, bam. See? I love cheese, though, so don't, don't, just put enough in there. Mine, it's a little warm in here, that's why I left it on the out. Right now it's a little bit melt, not melted, but not firm, you know? So you're gonna do that. I like to get the small ones, y'all, like this one right here, so you're able to wrap it and hold it in there well. If you get them too big, this, this right here, this bacon strip, will not be able to wrap it and hold the, everything in there and will come apart when you are cooking it. So go ahead and just wrap it. See, so you want to want to put one back here first, way down in the middle, <coughs> like slant to so, and then put it on there. See, going down, slanted. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. See, so you're gonna cover up everything. You're gonna bring it to the top. You're gonna bring it to the top, slanted up. <laughs> Just wrap it, sorry, don't tuck. wrap it, and then tuck it in there. And then you have this, your jalapeno bacon wrapped jalapeno popper with Philadelphian cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera, okay? So I'll show y'all one more time. So here's a big one, a more decent sized one. These are the ones that I like to get. This one right here, see, so just go ahead and put in your Philadelphian cheese. You go ahead and just put it in there. Take it off, make sure you don't put too much. Don't overfill it, okay? Get your bacon. Sorry, y'all. Get your bacon, remember, start off in the middle like that. So it holds. Wrap it forward on the top all the way to the bottom. Right? See, like this, and then tuck it in the back. Wherever you're able to tuck it, front, back, 
it don't matter but just tuck it in there so it doesn't come off and here's your other one look at that so that's all it is you guys it is your philadelphian cheese right here and jalapenos with bacon i hope y'all try it out and i'll show y'all the rest when it's done on when it's all cooked up